expert amateur and this is another episode of choosing a pc fan series this episode is on price because let's be honest most of us are limited to what we can buy based on the price now one thing i do have to point out is how much a fan is going to cost will depend on which country you're in and sometimes even which area of the country you're in sometimes like, for example, Noctua fans in America tend to be fairly expensive, but if you buy them in Europe, say in Germany, where they're, made, uh, where they're designed and stuff, you can probably get a really good price on them. And the same is true of, like, John's Bow, which is from, uh, what is that, Eastern Europe, I think it is. I forget which country, Poland maybe. Um, but you buy them here, or Gelid, for that matter, and they tend to be fairly expensive. But buy them back there where they're from, and they're cheap. And then, you know, we have the same problem with all kinds of things, in, 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 let's be honest, okay? But the vast majority of fans, at least in the U.S., cost less than $30, and there are many that cost less than $10, but a small number of fans that cost over $100 each and are generally not worth the cost, except for special function fans that can even go into the thousands of dollars, most fans are produced in China and Chinese companies are undermining foreign companies by offering quality fans at lower prices with good warranties, even going so far as to steal the designs or sometimes license the designs from other companies that manufacture in China. They also sometimes provide very, very generous return policies and very nice customer service, which considering the poor service you can sometimes get here in America, like and in Europe, like with Gigabyte refusing to honor warranties and Asus and all these other companies screwing customers over, it can be very enticing. If you can buy a fan for $3 and they're willing to send you a replacement, you don't have to send back the $3 fan. You can just toss it out. I mean, it's very tempting for a lot of people who cannot afford American priced products or European priced products. So you definitely have to think about it. However, and there are exceptions, but how, um, most of the fans that I'm, I'm going to say, most of the fans over, say, $15 are not really worth it for most people. Yes, there are some great fans like the Silent Wings Pro 4, which can do three different speeds. It has replaceable corners for different uh, placement in the case or on a cooler or on a radiator or whatever. Um, and they have some other things that make them nice, but most people don't need that. I mean, I realize some of you out there, you have very, very sensitive hearing. Uh, maybe you're autistic, so you can't filter out all the noises that everything is making in your computer, and thus you need something that provides extra quietness. So then, yeah, you might want to get something like the Silent Wings Pro 4 because they are pretty quiet. But for the average person, you don't need that stuff. And I'm going to, but I want to show you the low end and the high end of fans because it, I was looking at it. I said thousands of dollars when I wrote this and, and now I'm looking and I looked and I saw something that was like more than that. And I was like, how, how can anybody want to spend this much money? So hold on. So this is going to be a little bit difficult to display. However... I want to, I, I sorted on Amazon because, well, Amazon sucks for, for sorting and for uh, shopping sometimes, but <laughs> I just couldn't resist this. I want you to take a look at the top thing on there. That's a chandelier. That's a modern, probably, I would say 10 feet, 15 feet long. Uh, so we're talking over uh, uh, like maybe three meters long. Modern, it's got probably uh, gold plating on the top part there. And here, let me let me bring it closer for you. Look at that. So, but this is a, a listing for computer uh, radiator, 120 millimeter computer cooling fan. No brand. But it also men mentions heat sink. But you know, what they're saying is, is you can use it on a heat sink. And it's $14,656.88. But hey, don't worry because it's got free delivery. So let's take a deeper look at this one. What makes this so special? Well, it's not actually a chandelier. I think they put this in here and this 
and this and this and this and this to try and sell people on the idea that this fan is worth almost $15,000. But this is the fan. And that's the only image. So this is, by the looks of it, a standard uh, two or three pin fan, not even a PWM fan. So you have, if it's um, that, then you probably have no control over the lighting. Yeah, um, but you know, that's okay, right? Because it's got color C. Oh my gosh, that makes it so worthwhile. But let's, you know, let's go over here and look. Uh, here is the product description. And it's very helpfully made into one paragraph. Shockproof rubber bumpers. Ooh, that's fairly standard these days. Certainly not worth an extra thousand dollars. It provides an incredible cooling effect to increase the service life and stability of the system and components. That's marketing. That's not useful. Cooling fan for desktop and CPU. With the RGB light, it makes your computer case cool and stylish. No, not, a, not if it's just a single color. Um, and the material of the fan is ABS. Four rows of fan, of, uh, four rows, I would assume that's four rows of lights. Although judging from the image, there aren't four rows of lights there, are there? But, you know, whatever. Okay, let's carry on. Maybe there's something special that I'm missing. Low noise, 21.1 decibels. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, 50.28 CFMs, or uh, cubic feet per minute. That's okay, but nothing special. It does uh, um, use 12 volts of DC power. That's normal for a PWM fan. Or, um, but then it says 2.5 millimeters of water for static pressure. That is higher than normal. However, I have fans that way exceed that one. I've got one that does seven. I've got another that does 11. So two and a half is nice, but it isn't worth thousands of dollars. It can do three pin and four pin connectors. However, we don't know what they mean by three pin and four pin. I'm going to guess that three pin means it's DC and four pin means Molex. And then the speed up to 1500 RPMs. Well, actually, we don't even know if there's any variability of the speed because it doesn't show any variability. Life expectancy, 40 hours. So this is 40,000 hours. So this is basically a rifle bearing or a sleeve bearing fan, most likely sleeve bearing. And it's not going to last a very long time. In the beginning, it's going to be 21.1 decibels, but over time, it will get louder and louder and louder, and then it will just suddenly fail and die. Our features, heat dissipation. Uh, yeah, that's what fans do, they dissipate heat. Computer accessory, LED, those are not features. LED light, yeah, that's a feature. 120 by 120 by 25, standard size, nothing special. Due to the light, oh, that's, this is, last part here is just about um, vari variability in the image based on what you see on the screen and what you'll actually see when you buy this almost for, oh, we'll say 14 and a half thousand dollar fan that looks like a piece of junk. So yeah, uh, don't buy it. Unless you've got so much money to burn, you're willing to waste it. Now this one is not a standard fan for a computer. This is a specialized fan and it doesn't even have a price. But let's go to this one here. And this is a six pack. So, and they blurred out the actual company name that made it. So they've, they've, rebranded it as SDGH. But we can see there's some Chinese writing there, or at least it looks like Chinese. I kind of feel like I should know what that is, but I can't remember, because I'm not so good with Chinese. And so we got one here, we got two here. Uh, okay, and it does come with a four pin connector. So it's PWM and it has four screws and it gives it a little bit of a schematic and it compares it to an airplane because it says, it apparently is saying it's like an airplane propeller. Well, let's just take a look at something first here. If you buy if you buy these, free shipping, because it's right here, and, and you can get it, if you want to get it for just one piece, you would think one piece would be one-sixth of $788.26. But no, one piece is $623.53. But so that means if you buy two pieces for an additional $23, you're saving a lot of money. Then you can get three pieces for about another $23 and another three pieces 
Uh, another for uh, about $33 or something like that. And another thirty. Another $44 and you get five pieces and another $33 you get six pieces. So, wow, what a deal. But wait, let's go ahead and, yeah, aircraft propeller blade design. Yeah, this looks so much like, whoops, these two look so similar, don't they? Straight blade, curvy blade. This has got uh, channels in it. This one does not. This one has, oh my God, are they blind? They could have at least found a, a, a plane propeller that looks something like their fan, but there's, I don't know, they're lazy or something. And here we go. It's a unisex, in the unisex adult department. I, I just absolutely love that. <coughs> All right. So what's so great about this? 120 millimeters by 25, up to, uh, 800 to 1500 RPMs, hydraulic bearing. So that means it'll last longer. Could last up to uh, $50,000. That means this is a really low quality hydraulic bearing because hydraulic bearings should, if they're the good ones, they can last 100,000 hours, 200,000 hours, 300,000 hours, like a fan, um, a fan from uh, Noctua, for example. They've got some great um, bearings. Uh, what else is there about this fan that makes it special? Well, PWM, 12 volts, 0.23 amps. Hey, you're saving on electricity, right? Two to four watts, uh, up to 25 decibels of noise. And it's got rainbow RGB, but it's not manually adjustable. Uh, but that's this is actually rain, RGB fan version introduction. This is not the actual one with RGB. It's a non-RGB fan because let's come on, guys. It doesn't. I mean, where are the RGBs? I don't see any RGBs in any of these pictures. Look. Okay, so this looks pretty false, um, and it only comes with screws. And the fan. So is this worth that much money? I don't think so. But you know, let's let's take a look at the next one here. Uh, so <coughs> I've just about killed myself on that one. But here's an RGB one. Let's take a look at that. And it's a six pack. So you're paying less than. Uh, wait, is it? Yeah, a six pack, right? I think it's a six pack. But oh no, it's six pins. So you can't connect it to your header on your motherboard. You have to have a controller but wait there's a controller with an uh with a remote control fantastic and it's powered by sata and you can plug it into the usb or sorry argb right there and or is that argb i can't tell if that's argb no that's not argb that can't be argb well maybe it is maybe this is argb and this is three pin it looks kind of like three pin um so Really, $409.20 for what potentially is six fans. And you get a 10-pin, a oh, sorry, 10-fan hub. And, oh, okay, here we go. Sync, 5-volt, 3-pin, gigabyte, 5-volt. Okay, so it's only a 3-pin. I don't know why they're saying 6-pin on here yet. Maybe it's because it's 3-pins plus 3-pin because it's got ARGB and it's got the 3-pin connector. Um, and it also can support... This, this hub can support two LED light strips. So that's pretty good. I mean, I'm still doubtful that it's worth, uh, what is that, $80-some dollars per fan? You know, oh, nice colors, but uh, yeah, okay. And wow, that's a, a pretty decent looking uh, remote control. But um, let's take a look at the actual details here. So let's see, oh, 4.2 watts. So this is gonna be kind of expensive to run because it uh, uses a lot of, of electricity. Fluid bearings, but again, they're the cheap ones because they only go for 50,000 hours. And we've got 1,400 RPMs maximum, so it's pretty crappy. 21 decibels, so it's probably going to, you know, yeah. <sighs> Air volume is only 38 CFM, and there is no pressure listed, and it supports RGB. One wire power interface is 6-pin. Again, that's confusing because I didn't see a 6-pin connect, uh, connector. But maybe it's on the fans itself. It didn't really clearly demonstrate that. Uh, only 120 by 25 millimeter fans. And wait a second. Package includes one laptop cooler. Other demo products not included. So I'm really confused. Does it include the hub and the uh, remote control? Or does it include a laptop cooler? And what about the, four sc the, the screws you're going to need for all those fans? You got six fans. You should get 24 screws for it, right? But that's not even in any of the pictures. Uh-oh. 
Did they make a mistake? Is it actually supposed to come with the hub and the remote control? I don't know, but I'm not going to risk find, uh, paying $409.20 to find out. So it goes on and on. $361.37 for a fan, $359.63 for six, uh, six fans, uh, and so on and so on and so on. And it's just insane. And a lot of these are just crap fans. But you know what? Let's go ahead and show the opposite end of the spectrum. I'm going to switch from to low. Now here we've got a fan. Oh, no price. But here we've got a Mohalico. Now this is just a generic fan that they bought and branded with their name. There are lots of different companies that are selling the exact same thing. Here's the exact same fan, different color by Medelli. And um, yeah, so 406, 413, and you've got a uh, I don't even think this is, well, yeah, here's a centrifugal fan that is a blower fan. That was 409. And this is a really cheap one that only uses Molex D fan, uh, but no price. Let's see, 457 for OcuHome. OcuHome just buys cheap fans and then resells them at various prices. Another cheap standard fan that's very cheap, but again, under five bucks. Um, don't expect them to last a long time. You know, these will probably last you maybe 40,000 hours or so. Here's one that actually has some static lighting on it, but this is still going to probably be a two or a three pin, so you probably don't have any control over the coloration. Um, here's a Kingwin, but no low price. And here's the one with a really big hub and really tiny blades. And this is a USB fan for less than five bucks. Another MIDI Tor. <laughs> I don't even, that's a weird angle and that makes it look like a really weird fan. But this is obviously more designed for pressure or mix of pressure and airflow. Um, and then we've got another one from Nukni, which I think is probably actually an AC power fan. Um, that's a brand. So again, we can look and look and look and we see fans with no names. Look at this. There's an OcuHome with the fake crystal uh, frame. And then we've got, this is actually a rise mode fan for $6 almost. And a Zygmatek. Zygmatek is pretty famous. So this may be um, a standard price, but keep in mind that this is actually a small fan. This is not a 120. I think this is like an 80 or a 90 millimeter fan. So yeah. And uh, you'll, you, then we've got uh, Thermal Right, finally a name brand. This is used on the Peerless Assassin, I believe. So, you know, there's a good deal, $5.99. And another one, same same stuff. Here we've got a Dorhea I've never heard of, a 7010. I've never heard of this. Uh, you know, we're still looking at under $6. Another Thermal Right, GL12 or G12 uh, for under $6. And oh, here are the AC Infinities. Sorry, not AC Power, AC Infinities. Um, and then another uh, Rise Mode for under six. Axe Gear. Axe Gear, I think they're just buying generic fans and reselling. Sigma Tech, they're a famous brand. They have this very interesting that I actually have this fan. It's kind of interesting looking. And then we get a little bit over $6, and we're looking at a um, 40 millimeter fan for six, 605. More Rise Mode, cheap fans, really cheap fans. And here's a generic fan being sold. Uh, for 614 and it just goes on and on but you know if you keep on scrolling eventually you're going to see other than thermal right you're going to see some other name brands so here's thermal right again and this is six dollar range and then we can get four packs of detail whatever those brand that brand is and star test star tech has been around for a long time so maybe that's a decent fan but it does use Mo um, molex d so and it's only 90 millimeters um generic generic Here's a Rosewill. This is a New Egg brand. I don't even know how they got on here. You can get this for fairly cheap on the New Egg website when it's on sale. Um, let's see. More Rise Mode. A little bit fancier, but still cheap. And this is just another generic fan. You'll start seeing the same fan designs over and over and over again until you get to a certain point and then they get pushed out for the most part. But you'll still see them selling the same exact cheapo fans that were being sold for four or five, six dollars. And they'll sell them for the teens and the 20s and the 30s as well. More Thermal Right. Uh, Drysena. I don't, I don't know what that brand is. <laughs> Uh, AAB Cool, I think this is another weird brand. Again, that's another Molex. And 
another StarTech. Monisun, this is another off-brand that you know has cheap fans. I've only got one of theirs. And let's see, I'm still looking for anything other than Thermalright and StarTech. Logisys, not so famous, but uh, kind of generic, that one. More Thermalright, definitely mono, um, dominating the bottom. But hey, don't forget, this is a six pack of Antec fans, which are pretty good fans for only $16. So if you think about it, that's like what? Less than uh, four bucks, 320 per, per fan if you buy a six pack. And let's go to the next one. And Raijin Tech, now, now we're getting into a name brand. Um, so seven and a half, Thermal Right, Thermal Right, Thermal Right. A lot of these are really unknown brands. This one is being sold as Trustway, but this is uh, Yizheng, I think it is, actually. So a lot of rebranding going on, sometimes because the company sells it that way. Oh, <coughs> our first Silverstone, 768. <coughs> and... Uh, Retro Arcade, um, okay, I'm not really sure. I'm not ever heard of that. I'm kind of curious about that now. Ooh, maybe I should buy this one because there are only 13 left. I'll have to take a look at that and find out what's going on with that. Um, all right, I'm, I'm looking, I'm waiting for Arctic to pop up because Arctic is in this range when you buy like a five, six pack or something like that. Ah, here we go. Arctic under $8. Now, this isn't necessarily their best fan, but this is a name brand. Sunon is another name brand. And um, that's just the frame for particular NZXT fans. There's another more Thermorites, Kingwin. Up here is kind of famous, but I wouldn't say that it's top of the line or anything like that. But still, a three pack it means you're paying uh, 366 per count per fan. Let's see what else have we got. More Arctic and Sunon. Um, if you want to go to DigiKeys, they have about a dozen different brands there. Um, some of them are very cheap. Some of them are over $100 because they're more industrial use. But um, what else? Come on, where is that Arctic six pack? More, see, it's just so much cheap crap. All, all in one computer clipping from soon on. Yeah, so that's another blower fan. Blower fans are nice for some situations. So here's a thermal right three pack for seventeen twenty nine with um, ARGB. That's not bad for ARGB. And Arctic Rosewell Miyako. What else? ID Cooling, uh, not a great brand, but kind of famous. $10 for uh, each fan in a six-pack. Okinos, not a name brand, but it's, it's, I started to see it. And they are more expensive because they usually do ARGB. I don't know if they're actually good or not, uh, but this is a, what, a, a five-pack for, uh, so you could pay them six-something per fan. So yeah, as you can see, you can get a lot of pan, uh, fans for very little money. Now, granted, some of these brands are crap. Some of the fans from some of these brands, some of the fans are good, some of the other fans are crap. So you do have to be careful. This is a fairly decent one uh, from Thermalright. And, you know, it just goes on and on and on. And some of them are, you know, they, they will, there's, there are some companies that will sell what they call our Novo Nest brand. They're not Novo Nest brand. Novo Nest brand doesn't actually exist. They just call them Novo Nest to try and get people to buy them. And then you find that it's something completely different. Uh, I mean, it looks like the, in the pictures, but it's not Novo Nest branded. Uh, sometimes they'll sell up here's as another brand, but they're actually up here's. And I've seen uh, Igo's being sold as uh, another brand that's more expensive and so on and so forth. So yeah, the, there are lots and lots of options for you. If you are short on cash, take a look at uh, there, take a look at uh, DigiKeys, take a look at Newegg, take a look at the other reputable places. Be careful, there are some places out there that have really, really poor reputations for ripping off their customers. So you don't wanna do that.
So um, I think that's pretty much it as far as prices are concerned. You also need to look at not how much you're going to spend per fan, but what you're going to get. What is the um, airflow? What is the static pressure? What is the maximum RPMs? What is the noise? These are all considerations that you must look at. And also, of course, size. You know, size matters. Don't forget that. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Please like and share and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day.